Hey yo what up guys it's going crazy right now in case you don't know what's happening like Don Jazzy has finally come out you know finally come out to support Olamide guys and I know a lot of people is asking like what really happened like what why are they saying Don Jazzy and Olamide were quarreling and guys I want to tell you if you did not know they were quarreling or if you did not know they were beefing or if you did not know there was tension between them then guys I'm just going to be telling you how it happened in this video so what happened recently was don jazzy went to see like he went to support olamide in his listening party so olamide just dropped a mad album and don jazzy went there to support him but one thing a lot of people noticed like everybody actually noticed it if you watch the video which i'm going to be showing you the video now and one thing everybody noticed is when they hugged each other like they were it could show that they were not guys it could show that they were not friends you understand and even people reacted just watch the video And just so you know, I'm not just trying to make something up. People actually notice, like everybody noticed this. And people were like, still no evidence say they are happy with each other. <laughs> that was what this person said. Even Badon no say na puff puff pass. On more tension day, look down Jazzy face. Enough he even look Bado for eyes. Zero eye contact, no smiling whatsoever. Body language says a lot. <laughs> then this person yabbed on Lamde saying on Lamde jackets, get AC. Baba always on winter jackets, hit not day. The actual goats in the industry, but we get misled by Spotify. But that Don Jazzy side eye. Then this person crowned it all with love, no day. Like, this is few of the comments I was getting. So, I'm trying to tell you that, guys, there is still something popping up. So, I'm going to be showing you the video of when Don Jazzy actually did an interview. I came out to apologize to Olamide, guys, but where did it all start? Where did it all start? So, it started in 2015 during the Hades Award, like during this Hades Award, this was one of the craziest Hades in history, guys. Because we had nominees like Ricardo Banks, we had nominees like Leo Kesh, Kiss Daniel, Cynthia Morgan, and Corey De Bello, guys. And man, this was actually, this was actually one of the craziest Hades, if you remember. Because at that point in time, Cynthia Morgan was popping crazy, guys, with hit by hit. Then Corey De Bello was also popping when he dropped the song Godwin. And we know how Godwin was one of the craziest viral song at that point in time then we talk about kiss daniel everybody knows kiss daniel kiss daniel was popping with woju then we talk about likesh likesh was popping with different songs then he also did shoki at that point in time which we know how shoki was crazy then he did efe joku me also then talking about the winner was ricardo banks and ricardo banks you know was also popping that time when he released catapult guys so he released catapult and it was the shining light in the song with the maven group so at that point in time ricardo banks was also doing well but guys prior to the awards the person everybody was tipping to win this award was actually leo cash guys was actually leo cash but when the award happened everybody was shocked when they announced ricardo banks even though ricardo banks also deserved it but the likely choose was leo cash so when this happened guys, Olamide was angry, like Olamide was angry because at that point in time, Likesh was still under Olamide and this guy was very mad at, you know, the award, Hades themselves. So Olamide came out and he told them and he said this. I don't call you good. Let's be honest. This award belongs to Likesh because Likesh is our next rated artist. F*** that shit! Baba, yeah, yeah! Sweetie, take over! I can this single was a hit back to back from lyrically to shocky to FS Joku. Could you daffle anybody? 
I'm um, when Olamide did this, everywhere went mad, like everywhere went crazy because nobody actually expected Olamide to do this, but it was now the headline. And Don Jazzy was not happy with what Olamide did. And Don Jazzy, during the show, Don Jazzy immediately came out and replied Olamide. Um, Ebon, um, Olamide, if you want the car, come and collect it. God bless you. So this was where the whole thing started, like this was where the beef between Don Jazzy and Olamide started guys and after how many years, this happened in 2015, after how many years, these guys they have not still been able to have that blend, like they have not still been able to you know become friends, you know Don Jazzy is friends with everybody except Olamide, you understand, you can never see Don Jazzy and Olamide smiling and laughing together guys, that's what even explained everything even years after you know Don Jazzy have done interviews which I'm going to be showing you Don Jazzy has done interviews so even years after after this happened when Don Jazzy still came out to support him they hugged each other and the hug was not really from their mind you could see that that blood like that bad blood is still there even for somebody like everybody knows Olamide is the nicest person in the industry and you know Don Jazzy is also the nicest person in the industry then you would expect that when Olamide hugged Don Jazzy that these guys will be happy together but it did not happen that way guys and years after Don Jazzy still came out and he came out and he actually said he apologized to Olamide and he apologized to the Hades you know after that happened but he also did an interview and during the interview he was asked and this guy said man he actually regretted when that thing happened this I have a question I've always wanted to ask um this question is a picture and I, i'm trying to get the story behind this picture this picture there are three people on, in the picture is you is dangote and it's olamide mm. and that's a good question yeah. well, last, this is the picture this, you don't pay. I saw, I saw, this picture I saw it last year this picture came out not long after the it came out on january 2 bro the next day how do you january 2 how do you because, you bro, because, because that night i was traveling to acquire so, so my room yeah it was the next day how, yes, how did that january happen well, how did that happen because it seemed like that was the reconciliation picture uh, we don't we don't reconcile already but then we took a picture <laughs> <laughs> we don't reconcile but then we took a picture how the which, 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 when you say the concert, now it feels like we we fight. Yes. Fight. No, yeah. no, no, we no, no. We don't fight, but obviously, like like temper, people were, emotions, like, emotions, emotions were high, were high, um, understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, they they protect their own. Yeah, he was protecting. He was protecting. His, his, you were protecting, protecting yours. mine, and and yeah, he just escalated for for mm -hmm. no reason. Um, and the next day, it's two of us. We didn't know you to talk too much. Oh. This is like, come on. Did you have a prior relationship before then? I think so. We had done Skilimba then. The, uh, yeah. Yeah, Skilimba was out. Skilimba Wait, was this out. was 2016. For you young Skilimba Skilimba Gen Z people yeah. who don't know, uh, we are talking about Olamide. Mm. We had done Skilimba. Skilimba was like 14, 13, I believe. Yeah, so I think we, we had done Skilimba. And... Skilimba was a jam though. Why well, does that picture look like maybe like maybe yeah, that would they call yeah. two of them and no, so we, I was like, we, ah. we were living yeah we 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 were chilling oh so we had finished we were living oh okay. okay. what was that in the picture. Yes, yes, in the middle. And and, and, and people and middle, and, and the news and the gist is it was Dangote that brought. That was how it came out. That's how because that I, but nobody ever out. said the Dangote story. Dangote was in the picture. Yes, yes, in the middle. So three of you. Dangote was you on the right. Picture. I think. Let me, was let me the right. Let's find it. So, so wait, so Don Jazzy, That's not the story. It wasn't a Don Jazzy called both of you. Story. It wasn't a Dangote. It wasn't a Dangote called both of you story. Yeah, it was. Okay, but huh. let me, but let me see. I want to see that picture. Let me see. Dangote never saw the picture. No, I want to remember. I want to remember the picture. Oh, okay. Let me see. I have to remember, because, but we were living, sir. And they were, and they were took that picture. What's this? <laughs> I, I, why, I, 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 why is it this type of questions that you want to be? <laughs> no, no, these are cultural questions. This, these are cultural questions. <laughs> why is our question? You have the elephant in the room. <laughs> Ask me that question. <laughs> Funny enough, it's not even, it's not three of them. There are four. Are there are four. You're four in the picture. Uh -huh. so are, are, I can't see. I can't see. Let me see. That person in the picture is not correct. Who is that fourth person? Oh, wow. That's a seal, no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see how I'm on that yeah. big flight time? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So this is the picture. This picture. Yeah. Oh, that, I was. Uh, this is the picture. That that, I, this, this is the picture of where we were going. Where you were going? Okay. Yeah. Just two of you. Yeah. So, but this one, I, I didn't even remember that this one was taken. So. Yeah, it came. This one came out online. This is one that I feel went more viral even. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> man. That's it. We blasting our top but with the appeals. Actually, uh, the last years ago, I, I don't know if, if you were if you were born then. Oh my goodness! You must think I'm 15. <laughs> You know that was the that was the headiest incident. Oh, a ball lamin day. Well, yeah, yeah. I have <laughs> my own now. So yeah, that one was that one um was also out of character, and um I regretted that in like instantly as soon as I came down from the stage, um which I have obviously apologized to both lamin day, both to the events people, um headies, um organizers and stuff like that so guys after this like after crazy things like this have happened guys you can see that the vibe between olamide and don jazzy is still not right but big shout out to don jazzy you know for coming out you know to support olamide trying to squash the beef between both of them guys even though they have done a song together like they have done skilimba together if you for those that remember but it's also good that don jazzy came out to support olamide guys so you just tell me what you think about it on the comment section who do you think is right on this and what do you think both of them should do you know to sort out this thing between them just drop your opinion on the comment section and thanks guys for watching peace